The Dark Side of Valuation by Aswath Damodaran is a comprehensive guide that addresses the challenges and intricacies of valuing companies that are difficult to appraise using traditional methods. As financial markets become more complex and volatile, valuing such companies becomes an essential skill for investors, analysts, and financial professionals. The book is particularly relevant for those who encounter difficulties when attempting to value young, distressed, and complex businesses that deviate from conventional metrics and established models. Demodaran begins with an examination of why traditional valuation techniques may not apply to certain types of companies. Valuing established firms with predictable cash flows and stable business models is relatively straightforward. However, the challenge arises when dealing with companies that do not fit this mold. These include startups with innovative but unproven business models, distressed firms facing uncertain futures, and companies operating in rapidly evolving sectors or markets. Domodaran refers to this realm as the dark side of valuation where practitioners must resist the temptation to abandon foundational valuation principles in favor of less reliable, ad hoc metrics. The book categorizes difficult-to-value companies into different groups, including startups, distressed companies, financial institutions, commodity firms, businesses in emerging markets, and large multinationals. Each category presents unique challenges and requires tailored valuation approaches. For instance, Startups often lack historical financial data and operate in uncharted markets, making their future cash flows difficult to predict. Distressed companies face uncertainties about their ability to survive, let alone thrive, which complicates the estimation of their financial prospects. Demodaran emphasizes the importance of adhering to the fundamental principles of valuation while adapting them to the specific characteristics of each type of company. He urges readers to resist the allure of new, untested metrics that can lead to misleading valuations. Instead, he advises a nuanced understanding of traditional valuation methods and how they can be adjusted to account for non-standard business models, dynamic risk environments, and evolving market conditions. The book provides detailed insights into dealing with contemporary financial challenges, such as abnormally low or negative risk-free rates. These conditions can distort traditional valuation models, requiring practitioners to rethink assumptions about risk and return. Damodaran suggests ways to adapt to dynamic and changing risk premiums, which affect everything from discount rates to future cash flow projections. Valuing young and disruptive companies presents specific challenges that Damodaran addresses in depth. He examines how such companies potentially redefine markets and economic landscapes necessitating a forward-looking approach that accounts for growth potential, competitive dynamics, and market penetration strategies. The unconventional revenue models of these firms often require valuation methods that shift focus from current profitability to future possibilities. For commodity and cyclical companies, Demodaran advises a thorough analysis of industry cycles and global market forces that impact pricing and demand. The valuation of these firms often involves understanding supply-demand dynamics and geopolitical influences that affect commodity prices. In the realm of multifaceted businesses, particularly large multinationals, Demodaran discusses the complexities of valuing a company as a conglomerate. He posits the sum of the parts approach, where each segment or unit of the business is valued independently before aggregating them to derive a holistic valuation. Alternatively, for companies with user-based models or subscription services, he explores methodologies that value the business through its user base and projected customer growth. A critical distinction Demodaran makes is between pricing and valuation. While related, pricing focuses on what the market is willing to pay for an asset, which can diverge significantly from its intrinsic value derived through rigorous valuation practices. In volatile or speculative markets, Certain investments may be more appropriately priced rather than valued, highlighting the importance of understanding market sentiment and irrational exuberance. Throughout the book, Demodaran employs real-world examples, analyzing companies like Uber and Shake Shack on one end of the spectrum and Vail, Royal Dutch, and United Technologies on the other. Through these case studies, readers gain practical insights into applying the discussed valuation frameworks and methodologies.
Ultimately, the dark side of valuation serves as an essential resource for anyone tasked with valuing non-standard companies. Demodaran's expertise provides a roadmap for navigating the complexities of the modern financial landscape, emphasizing a disciplined approach grounded in robust valuation principles while allowing for the flexibility to adapt to a wide variety of business scenarios. Through this approach, financial professionals can arrive at more accurate and defensible valuations, even for the most challenging cases, enhancing their decision-making and investment strategies. You can buy this book by following the URL in the description.